Hi, welcome to Family and the Beast channel. My name is Janet and this is Chloe again. <laughs> Chloe is our taste tester. Remember all the ingredients and measurements that will be listed down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started guys. So in today's video, we will be making cross buns. I know Easter is just around the corner, so I want to share this recipe with you guys. Um, for my ingredients, I am using flour, warm milk, raisins, cherry, sugar, melted butter, egg, salt, yeast, cinnamon. I have one stick of cinnamon as well i have some lemon zest nutmeg allspice and essence so the first thing we're going to do is activate our yeast and i'm going to show you how to do that so to activate your yeast you're going to add in your sugar to your warm milk your milk should be warm and not hot so i'm going to add in my sugar and I'm going to stir this in a bit. And now I'm going to add in my yeast. I'm going to mix that in a little bit as well. And now I'm going to cover it and allow it to activate for 8 to 10 minutes. And for the next step, we're going to soak our raisins in hot water. And we're also going to put this on the side and allow it to sit until the raisins is nice and soft where we can cut into them so while our yeast is activating we're gonna mix in all our dry ingredients here I have my salt my cinnamon nutmeg allspice and we're going to whisk this in making sure all the ingredients are combined Now that our ingredients are combined, we're going to put this on the side. So the next step is to start chopping our cherries and our raisins. And if you prefer to leave your raisins whole, just like this, you can go ahead and do that. It's perfectly fine. Here's a look at my raisins. I'm gonna put this on the side and we're gonna check on our yeast to make sure that it's activated enough. So now that my yeast is activated, I just wanna show you how it looks. So the next step is to add in your melted butter and my essence. And I'm gonna also add in my lemon zest. I'm gonna mix this in. Now we're going to put this on the side and we're going to add in our raisins to our flour and I'm going to add in my cherries. I'm going to mix this in a bit. You want to form a well in the middle and you're going to add in your egg at this time. I'm going to crack this separate because I don't want to, I want to make sure that it's good. Now I'm going to add in the egg and now I'm going to start adding the liquid a little bit at a time to form a nice sticky dough So now that my dough has come together, I'm going to go in with my hands. You're going to also need some dry flour to mix your dough. You want to knead this for a few minutes, let's say about five to six minutes. You can feel free to add a little bit of dry flour every now and then 
but just make sure not to add it too much because you don't want your dough to get really tough um, otherwise you will have a really hard and tough cross bun so guys this is five minutes of kneading and I want to show you after I finish kneading my dough for that five minutes it is still sticky you don't want your dough to get tough when you're done kneading it for that five minutes and by adding too much of the dry flour so now that I'm done kneading it I'm gonna form this into a ball and I'm gonna leave it in my bowl here to rise for one hour before you put your dough to rise for that one hour this is how it should look nice and smooth now before I cover this and allow it to sit for that hour I'm gonna I have some softened butter I'm gonna just rub it on the top of my dough I just don't want it to form that dry crust layer on the top and I have a piece of bounty paper that I've wet a little bit I'm gonna cover it and then I'm also going to cover it with a hand towel. Now I'm going to store this in a warm area in my kitchen for that one hour. So while our dough is rising, our next step is to make that paste that we're going to put on top of our cross buns to make that nice cross shape that our cross buns is known to have. And to do that, we're going to add in in this container I have some water and I'm gonna add in my flour and I'm gonna add in some sugar and we're gonna mix this in to form a nice sticky runny dough So our aim is to get this to look like a paste, not a dough, really. You want when you pipe this on the cross buns, it doesn't like run and fall flat on the cross buns. You want it to have that nice cross shape. I think this is going to work for me. Um, I want to just show you the consistency, so I'm going to bring it up to the camera. And this is actually how it is. Now we're gonna put this on the side and we're gonna go work on the glaze as well while the dough is rising. And we're gonna head over to the stove. So my stove is on medium heat, medium high heat, you can put it. I'm gonna add in my water and I'm gonna add in my sugar. I'm gonna add in my one stick of cinnamon and I'm going to also add in some lemon zest that is going to give our cross buns a nice citrus flavor on the top you want to stir this in and allow the sugar to melt so now that my sugar is melted I'm going to add in my butter and I'm going to mix this in And you want to make sure you keep stirring it because it's such a little bit of um, sugar it's gonna it can burn really really quick I'll show you just when it's ready to come off the stove so I'm gonna lower my stove down and I'm gonna test this from time to time to make sure it's at the right consistency I like so you want to just grab a little bit on the spoon make sure it's nice and cool guys so you want to make sure you lower your stove down while you're testing this because in a few minutes or, or probably in like 30 seconds this can get so thick and you will have to redo the whole process again so just make sure you keep your stove on low to make to test your sugar to make sure that it's the right consistency this is what you're looking for and this is how you'll know when it's ready to come off the stove so guys it's been that hour and i'm gonna check on my dough now we're gonna take that Bounty paper off. This rice really, really nice. I'm gonna we're gonna punch this down, and I'm gonna 
to turn this alt on my counter. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of dry flour and you're gonna need to make sure that all the air comes out. So I'm gonna dust my bench scraper with some dry flour. We're going to divide it into small pieces to start forming our buns now. And you can make these as big or as small as you like. Grab yourself some dry flour. So it's going to help you from not sticking to your fingers. Try to fold the ends in like this and then you're gonna bring all the ends together and squeeze them tightly until it stick to each other now we're gonna put this on the side I forgot to um, grease my pan so I'm gonna grease that as well so I'm gonna add in a little bit of butter on my pan in the bottom try to spread this out evenly Forget to get the sides. Now, once you're done rolling your bun out, you're gonna place them in the pan, and you're gonna continue with the others. So here's a look, guys. After I finish rolling my buns out, I am going to leave this again on the side to sit for. 30 minutes until it rise a little bit more and um, then we're gonna bake this so here is a look at my cross buns after it's been sitting for that extra 30 minutes I'm gonna pipe on the uh, cross on the top and to do that I have a piping bag and I'm gonna pour in the batter that I made earlier in it So now that it's in there, we're going to squeeze that down to the bottom and I'm going to cut just a little hole on the bottom. You don't want to make this too big and we're going to do a little test on our hand to make sure it's the right consistency and also it's giving you the right size that you may want. So this is good for me guys. So I'm going to bring my crossbones closer to you so you see what I do. Now with your piping bag you're going to just pull a straight line across the middle. Now I'm going to put one across the others. Now we're going to flip this around and we're going to do that to the other side. We're going to leave this on the side now and I'm going to put these in the oven to bake at 325 degree and we're going to bake these for 25 to 30 minutes. You're going to check on them at 25 minutes and if they are a little bit dark to the color that you like, you can take them out of the oven. And Rocky! Yeah. So guys, here is a look at my cross buns. They're out from the oven and I'm going to add I'm going to glaze them with that sugar that I that we made earlier. And once they come out of the oven and they're still hot, you want to glaze these with that sugar. Okay, so I just want to show you guys a close-up look at how it looked. Um, we're going to allow this to cool down and Chloe's going to try it and she will let you know how good it is. This smells really, really, really good in my kitchen. My kitchen smells like heaven right now. I really hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Let's dig in, guys. I will try this one. Mm. 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 See you next time. Happy Easter. Thumbs up below. We hope you
you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Bye! See you in our next video. <laughs>